Okay, so the first part of this activity is to click on sitting bird and you're going to have to try and put back this bird together. It's greyed out in the middle there and all its body parts have been slung to the four corners and you have to decide which bit goes where. Each of these points is a drag me vector. If I thought that triangle D was part of the bird's headdress, I can grab that and try and work out the vector that will put the triangle back onto his headdress. You'd be wrong but we give it a go anyway. And there's the arrow that represents, so that's one way to represent vectors is using an arrow by drawing on the movement we've just done. Another way is by defining it in terms of its X movement and its Y movement. So I've gone six left, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's minus six to show I've gone left and not six right, just like on a normal axis. And then I've gone two up, so that's plus two, so I've gone two up and not two down. So the next part of the activity is to have the Word document here open or printed out maybe in front of you and if you're you can just write on it if it's printed out in front of you if not if you double click if you're doing this on computer eco-friendly maybe um, it's minus six because we're going to the left and it's two up and it's shape D that we just moved so I put it opposite shape D and the idea is to get used to some column vectors that's the official notation for vectors uh, not X and Y which would suggest a coordinate if we just wrote it horizontally. Your partner can then check and then you're going to make your own creation. You could make a bird like this one or you could make a plane or you could make a house. You can make whatever you like. See the help videos in Autograph and GeoGebra for how to make your creation and then how to translate the shapes ready for your partner to have a go at it. That'll take most of the lesson. Towards the end you're just going to see if you've understood how to how vectors work. Um, You've got to find five different vectors that result in a goal being scored from this free kick position. So here I enter my vector. Now that's not official notation. Normally that's how you define a coordinate. There's the official notation in big column vectors. But you have to enter your vector in down here. So first of all, I think it might be a, a 3, 4 vector. So I'm going to give that a go. So if I go to the vector, I can type in 3 and Four, and then just hit enter and I've fallen short nowhere near I'm sure we've all stubbed our foot in the turf before okay so click on resets ball goes back to the free kick position gonna try another one hopefully be a bit more successful this time never can tell four and eleven so I'm going four to the right and eleven up enter Ah, just wide of the post, reset, I'm going to try again. Obviously, I'm trying not to show you what the vectors are. You need to find five vectors that result in the goal scoring, and obviously, you've got to avoid the keeper as well. You get a little message if you're successful. That's the task. Enjoy.